Hey everyone, continuing with our application of differentiation, we're actually going to move on to our stationary points. Now, there are only three types of stationary points that we're actually going to look at. They are the maximum point, the minimum point, oh, obviously two, two, and the inflection point. From the name of maximum minimum, you probably think of these two graphs, so it's a classically an N shape and a U shape. For inflection, well, it's neither a maximum point nor a minimum point, therefore it's kind of like this shape right here. What's so special about all these three points is that the gradient at this point, the tangent, the gradient of the tangent, and the gradient of this point of the graph, so dy dx, they're all zero. Okay? Why is that so? If we draw a line right to represent a gradient, at this point, it's actually a horizontal, perfectly horizontal graph, and therefore a y equals to k graph. So from here, y equals to k graph, y equals to k graph. And we know that the derivative of y equals to k graph is zero, and that's why the gradient of this graph is zero, dy dx equals to zero. And why is this important? The idea is that if we're able to equate the derivative to zero, we can then find whether this particular x value gives us the minimum or the maximum, or is it actually neither a minimum nor a maximum. And this is very helpful for us to determine whether or not this particular x value gives us, for example, the maximum volume or the least cost to produce a painting. And this is how differentiation is commonly used. It's actually mainly to find the maximum minimum point. And if you're unlucky, you get an inflection point instead. So for example, let's say we have y equals to x cubed minus x squared plus 1. You want to find a stationary point, what do you do? Find a derivative and equate it to 0. All right, Let me just draw a line across here. Okay. So we know that derivative is going to be 3x squared minus 2x equals to 0. We then factorize it. Remember, don't divide by x because x is a variable and it could be 0. So from here, we get x equals to 0 or x equals to 2 over 3. Now, here's the problem. Is x equals to 0 a minimum point or a maximum point? Does x equals to 2 over 3 give us a minimum point or a maximum point? And you know, just by equating to dy dx equals zero, there are three possibilities, so you don't know, right? Don't worry. The next video will cover up how to actually distinguish between a minimum point and a maximum point and one that's inconclusive. But for now, this is an introduction to stationary points.